name is Mauro and I'm from the Sandali Trading Company and today I'd like to continue along our voyage through our traceable coffees. In particular I'd like to speak about some micro lots which have just come in from Guatemala. Uh, they were produced in the Atitlan area and uh, um, in the municipality of Sololá. The farm producing these micro lots here is La Providencia. Now these lots have been classified by us according to their taste characteristics. The one we'll be discussing today we have called tamarind. Now this farm, La Providencia, is found at about 1,500 to 1,700 meters above sea level. Obviously the Atitlan Lake being surrounded by volca volcanoes and uh, uh, mountains has got a very rich, um, rich black volcanic soil and the area is swept by a lot of rain. We are talking about 2,000 to 2,200 millimeters of rain a year. All the coffee on this farm here is shade grown under the gravelly and the avocado trees that they have there. Uh, the farm is fully ecologically sustainable. The coffee is uh, bird friendly and the varietals which they use in this farm here go from Bourbon, Tipica and Katura. The crop year, as with many other Guatemalan coffees, goes from December to March. And of course, the uh, processing method used for this coffee here is washed. So this is a fully washed Arabica coffee. Okay, so here we have our uh, tamarind uh, micro lot, Guatemala micro lot. Uh, again, you can see a very well selected coffee over here. The green is almost perfect. Screen size is 86% over screen 16 with uh, about 33% um, uh, over screen 18. Obviously, this good selection gets translated into a very good roast. The uh, roast color is uh, almost perfect. Uh, nice monk's tunic uh, color with the classical white um, stripe or white cut in the middle of the beans, which denotes a washed uh, coffee. Very good development of the beans. Okay, so continuing our description of our micro lot tamarind, uh, I can tell you that I've just been presented the cups. Uh, nice golden brown crema like the others. Uh, the crema seems nice and compact. Um, let us go and see what fragrances this coffee has to offer. Starting with the uh, tall cup. Hmm. The fragrances definitely resemble something like fruit, uh, with a little bit of spiciness in as well. Um, definitely this uh, provokes a certain amount of curiosity in you. Uh, when you have to taste this coffee. Let us go and sugar the uh, lower cup as we normally do. Crema holds the sugar very well, so that means that the consistency and the value of the crema is, uh, is good. Um, as usual, we will start cupping with the unsugared uh, cup, which is the tall one. Which will give us a rough idea of what the coffee is like. Now with the sugar. Definitely the mouthfeel is there. Uh, we can definitely taste a nice medium body there. The acidity is a medium acidity. Um, citrusy, but not an aggressive uh, uh, citrusy acidity. I would say that this is definitely far more towards tangerine, towards clementine, sweet citrus fruit. Um, this citrus fruity taste definitely develops into a cocoa, into a nutty type of taste. So we're talking walnuts, we're talking uh, almonds, nice and subdued flavors. In the aftertaste instead, uh, you can definitely detect a pear type of uh, um, fragrance or uh, flavor. And also, of course, tamarind syrup, which is why we gave the name to this uh, coffee here. A very nice coffee indeed. Pleasant. 